Bye guys, we did not have time to do it outside because it's loud. We've got a lot of jets here um, today. All the APUs are running. But today is a very special day. This beautiful woman sitting next to me is my wife. Um, and today is not her first flight in a small plane, but um, first flight with me in a small plane. She's been in a Waco with my friend Kevin one time, but that was just a cool experience we couldn't say no to, and I wanted to be the first person to take her up. And did you go up with me when we were younger? No, I just bought you that. Okay, yeah, so she, she bought me a flight when I was younger to go fly, but she never, so this will be like her second time ever, but first actual flight in, a, in an aircraft. And also, I've been flying paramotors on this YouTube channel for a long time, and you've really never been in a video. Yeah, so people have questioned your existence for quite a while, but here she is, mother yeah. of my children. <laughs> um, so, yep, that's the intro. We're, gonna, we're going over checklists right now. So we're going to continue with that. We'll bore you with it. We'll tune back in when we get uh, taxiing off the runway. I feel runway. like we have to do this. Oh. <laughs> Every picture I take, yeah. <laughs> All right. So you ready to roll? We're just going to taxi for now. Sounds good. We're clear. My brakes work. Always oh, test them before you roll. I hope so. Over here and do it so we can face into the wind when we do our run up. Okay. So this is runway 24 here if you're taking off that way. Um, but you can see the, the wind sock. It says variable, um, but it seems to be favoring runway six. So we're gonna take off the opposite direction. So we're gonna taxi all the way down there. Those are nice houses up there. We're at over there? Yeah. 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 Now with the owners? I don't know who they are. They got horses. Know that. So this is exciting. Business. This is our first flying experience together and your first like general aviation experience. Like I said earlier, she flew in a Waco, which I'll overlay some pictures right here, but my buddy um, has a Waco at his house. And he actually lives on an airport community. And it's amazing. We were out there hanging out. It was gorgeous weather. And you don't get a lot of opportunities to fly an aircraft like that. So even though I wanted to be the first person to take her flying, I insisted that she go up with my buddy Kevin to uh, fly in that aircraft. It's open cockpit. Awesome. But she just did once on the pattern. So um, she just got to feel what flight was like. Um, it wasn't even really <laughs> flying. <laughs> that's so nice of you but yeah it, um, it's gonna be today's gonna be a much different experience much different you'll actually see what it's like to go somewhere so our plan today is to fly out to Hilton Head uh, obviously we're not obviously but we're taking off from Somerville South Carolina today over to Hilton Head Island um, we're not going out or staying there we're just gonna go there and check out the FBO and then we're going to do a night flight home. So the uh, flight home will be nice. We'll try to go over the city of Charleston. Um, it's really pretty at night when it's clear. And it's supposed to be clear and nice tonight. So we're going to do that. feels weird that we're flying together because... Is this uh, emasculating? No. Put your arm around me. <laughs> I don't get um, but usually, I mean, I've been flying since 2015. Started in paramotors. Still fly paramotors, but fortunate enough to be able to enjoy general aviation as well now and um, you've always just been on the ground you know? you have always just left the house to go flying uh, and you haven't been able to, to do it so I'm excited yeah. to share it with you Fun. yeah finally got some babysitters so we've done our run-up already um, we're giving a look at final right now it looks clear I've heard nobody on the radio we're ready to take off ready snakes I'm ready all right here we go Take off runway 24, and we are going to make right traffic and depart off the downwind for 24. Excuse me, runway 6. All right, final's clear. Somerville traffic, Cessna 1704. Taking off runway 6, Somerville traffic. Ready? I'm ready, baby. Hey, RPM looks good. Engine instruments are on the green. Airspeed's already alive. There's 60. Rotate. Tap the brakes. For 75. Terminal traffic, this is Skyhawk 65003. We are attacking in uh, to runway 6 for takeoff. Sounds Man, you are lightweight. <laughs> You're my lightest weight passenger. Really? Yeah, I've never had a passenger climb so well. What about your mom? Oh, yeah, I guess, yeah, she was pretty light too, but the density altitude was higher. It was hotter that day, so. Cold air is giving us good performance today. Woohoo! Flying, baby. Oh my goodness. Oh, it feels nerve-wracking. Does it? Yeah. yeah. It always feels weird uh, your first time, really. 
They're already smooth and hot up here. Somerville traffic, Cessna 17048, turning right crosswind for runway 6, Somerville traffic. It's going to be smooth, which is nice. Pretty up here. Yeah, we're not getting any clouds today, so you don't get that experience, but... A little hazy too, but it's nice. Yeah. See the fire smoke out there? Yeah. So we're going traffic, Cessna 17048, uh, turning right downwind for runway 6, and we're going traffic. So we're going traffic, Cessna 17048, departing the pattern uh, off the downwind for 6, and we're departing to the east, last call, Somerville traffic. All right, so, go ahead and open my flight plan. Anderson Radio, Cessna 17048, transmitting on 122.2. Over 17048, Anderson Radio. Anderson Radio, uh, Cessna 17048, just looking to open our VFR flight plan down to Hilton Head, which is Hotel X-Ray Delta. Over 17048, Roger, what was your departure time? Departure time was 4.30. Number zero for eight, Anderson Radio, Roger. Flight plan is activated uh, at three zero past the hour. Air Max Tango is current along the route of the moderate turbulence. Advise details by the weather report request to monitor the Somerville automated weather current on. Thank you, Cessna zero for eight. Okay. Does it tell you a time when you're going to get there? Uh, yeah. So it says an hour, but we're we're not at cruise speed yet. We're still climbing. So we're but this is the climb phase of the flight. So we are up going up to our cruise altitude. Um, so our speed's going to increase quite a bit, so that, that doesn't know that. So okay. we'll, we'll make much better time. Um, so now I'm going to go over to Charleston, uh, and we're going to talk to them and have them follow us down there for safety, too. Charleston approach, Cessna 17048. Cessna 17048, Charleston, go ahead. Charleston approach, Cessna 17048, type Cessna 150. We are four miles south of Somerville Airport. Uh, request VFR flight following down to Hilton Head Island at uh, 4,500 4, feet, and if possible, we'd like to head out to the coast to fly down. Roger, stand by for a coast. Cessna 048, squawk 5572. 5572 for 048. Another for 048, radar contact, five south of Somerville, altimeter 3030, and uh, you can proceed southbound towards the coast and fly out that way. Uh, 3030, we'll proceed southbound to maintain VFR. Thank you, 048. So, he kind of said we go south, but I don't want to go that way. November 048, for now, just maintain VFR at or below 3,500. Maintain VFR at or below 3,500 for 048. All right, so I requested 4,500, you don't want me to high? 1,500? Right now, so we'll go 3,500. Okay. Why, probably got departures, like there's a Sky West uh, flight coming this way. Yeah, so they're going to have to contact you for the approach 123.7. 23 so we're, we're, we're flying in Charleston's airspace right now. Well, not in it, but next to it. So they're vectoring like commercial flights in and out of this uh, uh, air, so airport. Looking for traffic, Skywest 5640. So 048 traffic, 10 o'clock, 7 miles westbound, 2400 climbing above you, Embraer. Uh, we'll be looking for him, 048. So he just told us about that airplane. Alright, so we're gonna level out here. Skywest 5640, traffic no factor. Skywest 5640. November 048, traffic no factor. Session 048. So why did you want to fly higher than what? I want to be up higher um, because Jeez. right now we're headed. Well, we will eventually maintain 3,500 feet. Um, but when you're going west, west is best, even better than odd to say. Remember it. So you fly an even first an odd plus 500. So just so you pick an even altitude, and then you add 500 feet to it, and that's BFR flying. So, right now we're going to the east. Yeah. Why do you prefer that? Don't No, that's that's standard operation. That that keeps traffic separation. That's the 17048 VFR altitude now to your discretion. VFR altitude at our discretion, 048, thank you. When we head back to, when we make our turn, to the west, down the coast, um, I'm going to climb up a little bit, but 3,500 is fine for now. But why do you climb? Um, or why do you like to climb higher? 
Uh, well, the higher you are, the more options you have if something goes wrong. And obviously, if like we lost our engine right now, if it shut off, I have I can glide somewhere. The higher you are, the farther you can glide. The more time you have before you're done gliding and you gotta gotta land. So um, that's the idea behind it. Gotcha. That's Charleston. That's that's Charleston. Yeah. Cool. You can see the bridge is kind of yeah, hazy, I see, but I yeah. See it. Yeah. We'll go over it later. Cool. Um, but yeah, the city itself is that little cluster of buildings to the right of the bridge. I recognize it's, the bridge right away. That's how I so know. It's so tiny. Charleston is. Wait till we fly over at night. It's like a little bit of lights, and then that's it. And then darkness. So like, that's really? Charleston. That's the whole city. Are there pedals or anything up by me? I don't want to make, I wanna make sure I don't there, press it. There's pedals. But they're just, it's rudder pedals. So it would just do this. Oh. Oh. But you'd have to step on it pretty hard to get it to do that. Okay. And I got my feet on the other one, so if you do step on it, I'll fight you. Love you. Love you too. Cool to see you fly. Yeah. But you wanted to do a whole life. Right. <laughs> now I get to be in plane with you. Be a part of it. Long time coming. It's kind of crazy. That down there just quarry. Um, where? Oh. That but body of water, can you? Uh, that's not a quarry, that, that's some type of irrigation. That's funny, because everybody, when they come up here, they ask me what the different water, like, ponds, like, what's that pond? What's that? And I'm like, I don't know what any of this stuff is. Some guy's irrigation system. Just confirm, you're calling uh, Charleston Airport in sight already. Roger, wow, when you take out your headphones five, off. Five miles yeah, and this is a quiet the airplane. Then, uh, you can expect your clearance then. Right, People used to not fly with headsets at all. There's a speaker up here. Used to listen to the speaker and have a walkie-talkie like radio. Wow. Yeah. That's... So down there is that Mount Pleasant? No, Mount Pleasant's on the other side of the city, okay. other side of that bridge. What is this, John? Uh, well, that's Folly, that's Kiowa, that's Seabrook, that's Edisto. Cessna zero four eight, Mr. Justin, even altitude plus five hundred feet for uh for your transition southwest bound. You still planning on forty five? Uh, yeah, so we'll come to 45 when we make our turn over here for 048. So we'll go ahead and climb down. Tower, tower, tell me, Charlie. So we'll climb, you bring your mixture in, so you don't overheat the engine. So we have 5,000, Slow the airplane down a little bit. Start adding power. The higher you climb it, the slower the Um, well, no, 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 no. Actually, the higher you go, the faster your plane will fly. Um, but, um, obviously when you're climbing, you're not going... <laughs> can't maintain 100 miles an hour in a climb. Right. In this airplane, your best rate of climb, which means the fastest you can climb, like feet per minute, is at 75 miles an hour. So you just target 75 miles an hour, and that's as fast as you can climb. So that's what that's what we're doing, slowing down to 75. Nice. Herb tablet or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, this is floor flight. Um, I know you've heard me talk about this before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is... This is amazing. It's very nice. If I didn't have this, then I would have to navigate, uh, looking out the windows and like via uh, waypoints, which I could do easily around here. But you can imagine in an area you're unfamiliar with, you have to study like charts and things like that. Right. Um, you navigate via radio frequencies. So I've already got Charleston tuned in here. So this is a VOR. There's a radio station at Charleston that I can tune. I can like get to Charleston from that. There's also radio stations out there toward Hilton Head that I could use to get there as well. So, even if this does fail, I have compasses, I have radio, I have more flight on my cell phone, I've got a compass on my watch. If, I mean, you'd have to have a lot of failures to be really lost up here. Especially easy with the ocean. Oh, yeah. It's, Big landmark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's, what's, the trick is maintaining BFR, which is mean you can always see where you're going. There's a dog ear, or whatever you call it. Oh, a sun dog. <laughs> <laughs> a dog ear. <laughs> that is a sun dog. Good spot. <laughs> Good spot. <laughs> so I'm always on the ground talking about weather and things like that, and I've pointed out sun dogs to her, and she accurately identified a sun dog, so that's cool. All these little, like, avenues of water are really cool. Isn't it cool? Yeah. So, so pretty. So pretty. I love it. You don't know what this is? The river here? I don't know what the names of these ones are. I know the Cooper and a couple other back by Charleston, but I don't know these ones. You um, should just start making stuff up and just... Well, that's the... Tugudu River, we just flew over. This is Bohicket Creek. Bohiggin. Actually, 
Actually, that one is the Edithel River. Sorry. Okay. So that one goes right past our uh, my parents' house. But now you know. Well, it would make sense that the Edithel River would go right out at Edithel, which we are approaching now. So you can see um, that's Kiowa here or over. Okay. That's Folly Beach. See that one? Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's Folly. Ever see dolphins when you're up here? And, uh, Bricko 34. Not in the uh, airplane, but I've seen side. dolphins a lot with the paramotor when you're lower. Okay. It'd, be, it'd be pretty hard to see a dolphin from up here. Almost a mile away from the ground. That's straight down, so you, wherever you're looking is over a mile away, likely. Number 048, contact you for approach 125.12. 125.12 for 048, thank you. Do you put approach, that's no 17048, 4500. Remember 17048, do you put approach, that's number 3027. Uh, 3027, 048, thank you. I didn't realize how uh, big a disto was. Adisto? Did oh, you yeah. say a disto? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have an accent. Adisto's big. Yeah. I've only been there once, when we first moved here, I took Ollie there. That's right, yeah. Remember there was that video I had him with a baby carrier yeah. and his wind was, his hair was blowing all Aww. over the place? He's just a little squirt. He was <laughs> such a little squirt. now so you don't have to do anything okay so real quick I'll go over a couple of things so about 4,500 feet I'll, I'll pay attention to that and help you maintain that altitude um, but what you're gonna do is just pick something to fly to so like I would pick this point right here or maybe you could pick like a river inlet something where you can look over the horizon or the cowling of the airplane you know, and use the and then just fly to it you know what I'm saying I don't know if I'm in the right head space well don't worry I'm here okay, <laughs> okay. Um, and then when I hand you the airplane, I'm going to say your airplane, and then you just confirm by saying my airplane. And then that means you have it, I don't have it anymore. Okay. okay. And then you give it back. Number 048, altitude, your discretion, previous call traffic, no factor. Uh, traffic, no uh, factor, altitude, discretion, super, thank you. Um, <laughs> it's funny, she speaks in a normal voice, and then you speak in your pilot voice. I try to speak clear, like, definitive. That's just how it comes out. It happens to a lot of people. It's not just me. <laughs> All right, so, okay, so it's a one hand on the yoke only. So one hand there. Okay. One hand. Here. Oh. Okay, so I'll say your airplane. So you're flying right now. Okay? My airplane. Okay, so uh, you're already pulling back a little okay, bit. Okay, you, so. you do no, it's it. okay. It's okay. Put your hand here. You're good. Just one hand. There you go. So what am I supposed to do? So just keep keep the nose of the plane exactly how it looks right now. If you feel the plane doing this, you're going yeah. up. So poop, just push forward a little bit and keep the nose okay. right there. Okay? Um, and then if you want, you can make a little bit of a right turn and head to that point there. So uh, you see how the nose is going up? Push yeah. forward. Push forward. There you go. Uh, there you go. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Hold. Don't let go. Okay, you take it there, please. No, you got this. Hold on to this yoke. You are in control of the airplane. Don't let the plane fly you. If the nose is coming up, you push forward a little bit, okay? Okay, so there you go, right there. All right, now if I tell you to make a right turn, I'll do the rudders, you don't have to worry about that. But if I tell you to make a right turn, you're gonna push the oak this way. That plane will turn right, and then just hold it there. Okay. Okay, so you feel that bank. Yeah. Okay, now to, now to bring the plane back, you just roll it back the other way, roll it back. Roll it back. <laughs> right there. There you go. So what you're what you're suffering from right now is you're letting the plane fly you. The plane is like wanting to go up and down, and you're letting it do it. So you you tell the plane, I want Baby. I want to go there. Okay. Okay. Don't, don't, yeah. don't, don't be afraid. It's okay. I know. You just uh, like that, that happens a lot. A lot of people let the plane fly them. The plane will be like drifting. You're like, oh, what do I do? It's like you're in control of the plane. I know. It's just, just nerve wracking. It. Yeah. So push forward a little bit of the yoke. You you also let the plane come up. There you go. There you go, so don't let the nose come up, and you're doing perfect now. So, you can actually go down a little more, push forward a little bit more. It's just falling puts, and I see how you're going left. Uh, it's okay, so go right. Return the plane to okay. the right. Can you please, can you take it? Okay, my airplane. <laughs> you're funny. Yeah, you were like, you're you're afraid to like, put any inputs into I the know, airplane. I know, I am, I like, don't it's know. It's like turning, you're like, oh, what do I do? And like, you have the control of the plane, you can just turn it, and you're not doing it. So oh, Dave, uh, Dave beat me. He beat you. <laughs> Dave did better. Dave at least turned the plane. <laughs> Does that make you mad? No, it doesn't make me mad, but I just got to make sure I stay awake during this flight. <laughs> please, please. That's funny, babe. <laughs> I 
just want to sit back and enjoy, honestly. Okay. Love you. Love you, too. Now the sun's going behind those clouds. That's that so nice. nice. Look how pretty the sky oh, is. Oh, that's amazing. A view to approach Cessna 170 for you. We have uh, Hilton Head in sight. Request start descent. Cessna 048, altitude to your discretion, and uh, you can squawk AFR. The only traffic I got is a Cherokee departing. Looks like he's turning to southeast, bound talking to Savannah. And then another VFR aircraft uh, looks like he's departing off runway 3, talking to the tower. And contact the tower now, 1897. Good day. Over to tower in 1897, thank you. Hilton Head Tower, Cessna 17048, uh, with you descending through 4,200 feet to land with hotel. Number 17048, Hilton Head, uh, what's your position? Sorry about that, we're 10 miles to the northeast. 048. November 048, Roger, report a midfield right downwind runway 3, and did you say you had hotel? Roger that, we have hotel. 048, Roger. So this is something I need to work on actually, is flying into towered airports. So I'm going to... to include all the information. Just, it's just good practice, I don't do it a lot obviously. Hilton Head Tower, Army Copter 03350 with you. Good evening. Five mile final on the VOR Alpha and into Hilton Head. Army 03350, uh, Hilton Head Tower. Good evening. The report when you're one mile west of the airport. We'll contact you one mile out from the west. That is an Army helicopter. That's who he's just talking. Coming that way. I don't know where he's at. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'll be on the lookout for him. Where is that helicopter? There he is. I see him. How do you see him? He's out there. A black speck right below the horizon with okay, a flashing yeah, yeah, light. Yeah, I see. Army 350 is one mile west of the airfield. Army 350, Roger. Cleared for low approach. 350. And that's spooky. He's right on our path. And tower 350 is currently right hand climbing out to the uh, to the southeast. Thank you. Have a good night, sir. 350 contact surround at 125.3. Three. That was fucking close. We're going to feel that wake. Hilton Head Tower, Cessna 1704. It's midfield down, mid runway 3. 048, Roger. Is Army helicopter uh, should be south of the airport, southbound. Roger that. We have in sight, no factor. 048, uh, make short approach, runway 3, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 3, 048, thank you. Clear to land, gas is on, undercarriage is welded, mixture prop. Switches and degrees of flaps. Alpha 3, taxi to the ramp, stay on this frequency. Right at Alpha 3, uh, taxi to the ramp, this frequency, 048. Holy shit balls, that was a bumpy takeoff, take or landing. Three, <laughs> five, I was That's trying not to look, I'm like, oh, don't look, don't look. <laughs> Is it because it's windy? There was some serious wind coming off that. Did it. Right, clear left. Good, baby. Alright guys, well, hope you enjoyed this one. It was an awesome flight for me, so cool to be able to finally share uh, aviation with my wife um, and uh, yeah don't forget to like subscribe follow me on Instagram if you want and I will catch you guys in the next one peace